Hey, what is up YouTube? So today we will be going over the reason why I changed my phone from Samsung S21 to OnePlus 8. So I got this uh, pretty good deal for about um, 270 uh, brand new um, OnePlus 8. You know, it has 5G capability. Um, it's got, you know, a little bit older Snapdragon processor, the 6 the A65, um, but it has 5G in, already, and it's got a bigger screen, the 6.55 inch display. And also it has the 48 megapixel and a triple camera setup with a wide angle lens. It's got a slight bigger battery, you know, 4,300 milliamp compared to the Samsung S21, which only has 4,000 um, milliamp but and also this uh, has the quick super quick charge um, which is a 30 you know the 30 warp uh, charger which can charge uh, 0 to 50 percent in you know about like 15 minutes or so so it's uh, fairly quick and it's got a uh, 128 gigabyte internal storage um, 8 gigabyte RAM and it has oxygen os uh, android 10 and straight out from the box so you know one of the reason why i went kind of backwards in a way because samsung s21 is a newer phone um, is that the samsung s21 you know that i've been using for almost well actually less than a year um i noticed uh, the phone became very sluggish um so it uh, would in between apps it would uh, be very slow especially when i'm trying to um, browse between apps like going through uh, google maps or um, going through uh, like going to gmail and then go to maps and then it will there there's always a slight hesitation whenever i'm trying to switch apps and also with the OK Google Feature Assistant, um, there's always a lag. Uh, Comparing to OnePlus, you can definitely tell it's a slight split, you know, second faster. You know, in those cases, you know, it does really matter, uh, especially when you're driving on, on the road, because, you know, even a slight second delay can, uh, you know, cause you to make a round turn or something like that. So, um, you know, that's one of the main reason, you know, I went from Samsung S21 to this OnePlus 8. Um, I know that I will, you know, be trading off with some of the Samsung latest and greatest features like the um, Android 12, which I already had previously on my Samsung S21 and also with the better camera features, better camera quality, and also, you know, just the latest you know, specification uh, from, you know, the S21. But I've been using the OnePlus for the last few days. And, um, you know, this phone definitely held up to, um, you know, what OnePlus is. I originally was one of the first people who used OnePlus. So, um, you know, I've been a great fan of OnePlus phones for since you know their early launch days where we all receive uh, invita invitations from emails. Um, so, you know, OnePlus definitely has gone as, you know, really got gone as ways. And, you know, this is definitely, you know, on the premium, it is not a cheap phone at all, you know, compared to like something like Umidity G or um, it is a good solid quality phone and they do support um, new software updates. So I this this phone came in Android 10, um, but I already got this upgraded to um, Android 11. So another thing you know with this is the quick fingerprint reader. So this is a lot quicker than the Samsung S21. Um, so if you just go this, it's definitely you know like I said, it's the little things you know the split of a second you know, quickness response in the phone. So that really draws the difference um, with, with um, you know, how the usability of the phone. And then, you know, with the quick features, like, you know, this the OnePlus feature, if you draw an O, 
that will automatically populate the camera app. And then, you know, the, the V would activate the, the uh, flashlight in the back. So all these, you know, little cool feature that I miss, you know, from the very first OnePlus definitely, um, you know, still, and then put the V again and shuts it off. So these little features definitely, you know, have a huge um, impact to the usability of the phone. So, um, so one of the thing, you know, about this phone is that the back is a magnet, a fingerprint magnet, as you can tell here. I'm trying to wipe these off constantly. Um, I still have not gotten a case yet for this phone, which I will. Um, and just, you know, showing you some of these features that I have on this phone. So this phone, like I said, um, I have upgraded this to the Android 11. Um, just want to show you uh, the system. So this phone is currently, you know, upgraded to Android 11 and it's got the latest, um, you know, software updates. And um, it's definitely, you know, very user friendly. And, um, you know, for my OnePlus phone, you know, this definitely the Snapdragon 865 is by no means slow. Um, just because it's, you know, not Snapdragon 888. Um, this still, you know, runs as smooth or even faster than my Samsung S21. So just because, you know, the, the, it's all spec'd out doesn't mean that it's fast. Um, so also, you know, you have to account for the uh, software that goes within this phone too. Since this runs on Oxygen OS versus Samsung S21 of the One UI 2 now, um, you know, they, this phone definitely has a lot less um, bloatware in the operating system so that's why it's able to you know go so fast between apps and um, you know even though this is a 90 hertz uh, display versus the 120 hertz display on the s21 um, I personally don't see you know a huge difference I do see like a very subtle difference when I'm like scrolling between the um, screen and, and um, going through apps but in general, you know, it's still very, very, very smooth to, you know, most, you know, people's eyes. Um, so, you know, like I said, you know, this phone does pack a lot of customization, you know, with the um, gestures and also like how you, um, you know, go through different settings. There's a lot more settings than what Samsung has to offer. And these settings actually make sense for a usability wise so I mean before I remember they only had draw O V and then I don't think they have S but now they are able to add more um, quick to commands where you can quickly activate a certain command to uh, to activate a particular function that you want on your phone so this is definitely very accessible you know for for people who would need to quickly open up the camera or flashlight. So this is one of the, you know, things that I glad I'm glad that I jumped back on, you know, back onto OnePlus. Um, you know, you know, given this is, you know, older an older phone, you know, not the latest and greatest um, you know, S21 flagship, uh, but this is definitely, you know, still a good buy in my opinion. Um, just because, like I said, of the price, I was getting a lot, a lot of phone for the value of the money, and um, you know I'll be using this phone for you know a couple of months probably before I um, you know try out a new phone. Um, but you know so far I've taken some pictures on this phone, and the quality is you know a little bit subpar comparing to the S twenty one, and also the wide angle camera is not as wide as the um, Samsung S21. Um, so uh, whenever you're trying to use the wide angle, you won't be able to, um, you know, see as much, uh, you know, aerial view. But in regards to, to the overall uh, performance, you know, I have no issues. So, you know, stay tuned for uh, more updates on a couple of the videos and shots that I've made on this phone. 
And, um, you know, thank you for listening and have a great day.